there we are. I'm also joined today by uh, Liz, Melanie, <laughs> and Reed. Melanie, I, I don't know if anyone at Rush Teeth has ever had a dedicated cat cam. Well, they should. It's very important. Okay. <laughs> Just look at her. <laughs> we were saying that it looks like you are the game that Liz is the Let's Player playing. Yeah, I mean, so is... she does control me basically, so it makes sense. They announced on Death Battle what the next um, Death Battle is going to be, and it is going to be Sailor Galaxia versus Lord Beerus. So I thought, hey, this would be a perfect time to start dabbling into some Sailor Moon. A lot of times we try to figure what is the what is the framework for the tier list. <laughs> I, I think we're going with who would you want on your team? As always, our tier lists are rated Golden Honey is the pinnacle of all existence, followed by S, A, B, C, and D. We will be placing them. We might be adding tier lists along the way. We gotta start with Usagi, Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon's gotta be S tier. There's yeah, I would yeah. say no other option. She's, She's so overpowered. She's hashtag relatable and also just like a really nice person. At first, when I started watching, I'm like, wow, she's kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but like, I feel like when she actually is in front of a challenge where her friends are in danger, she's willing to step up. In vain, she's also like really good at acknowledging when she does need help. She's not an arrogant anime pro tag leader. Well, like, wait, let's, like, not, let's not hate on people who are arrogant. We still gotta get to them, okay? <laughs> Massive also, power without a big head is a, like a huge advantage. <laughs> not only do you get Sailor Moon, but you also have to count in Princess Serenity and then also Neo Queen Serenity and yep. then maybe other future characters. I mean, the healing power is good to go. You'll probably never die. She lives yep. like thousands of years. And she'll want to be your friend. Like she, she wants to be friends with everyone. I appreciate that. The man, <gasps> the boy himself, <laughs> wear tuxedo mask. This is going to be very controversial. So I used to be a tuxedo mask hater. Um, I didn't understand him. I didn't get it. But it wasn't until my recent rewatch and studies that I realized tuxedo mask is straight up S tier. Also a contender for the golden honey for sure in my for opinion. Real? First of all, he used to be prince slash king of the Earth Kingdom. He's hella powerful. He does have a problem with getting brainwashed a couple times, which I hate, <laughs> but, <laughs> but what's cool about him is that he's kind of similar to a Batman where he doesn't actually have like magic powers. I think he might get some later, but he's not like a magical being. He also protected and saved Usagi so many times. Uh, like every many. time. And also he's just a supportive boyfriend. Like he's not there to get in her way. Like he lets Usagi shine. I, I agree with all of this. And my problem with him is not the meme, the meme. My problem is not like the, oh, he's useless. My problem is that he is not honest. Does he know that she was Sailor Moon the entire time or? No, no. He doesn't know at first, but he does figure it out. So my opinion on this is I think he is S rank, and that is for one reason only, which I will describe it as shit that Tuxedo Mask says, and I have a list of some quotes that I want to share with you all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I did not expect this. The image of love that shimmers in the heat wave. Now, sorrowful wonder, listen to the beat of her heart. Those who toy with pure hearts will someday be tried by pure hearts. Even a lovely flower will soon wilt if a poisonous energy eats it away. A true boxer would never hit a beautiful young girl. Instead, <laughs> he would embrace her gently. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> Truth. My heart. Never as true words than he says spoken. it as he is holding Sailor Moon. It's beautiful. There was a really funny one about makeup, but I couldn't remember what it was. It's like, young girls have sweet skin and don't need to be layered by makeup or something like that. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, okay. No, hold on. That's, uh, let's, we're taking points away now. <laughs> oh, my God. Mercury's S. <laughs> I, oh, I, I am very indifferent about her. I was talking to Reed about it. She's kind of boring. It's rude, but yes. She's a genius, so that would be a nice friend to have. I, but... It just makes me laugh, because every time she uses her bubble power, I just imagine like a Pokemon using bubble, and you're like, oh, oh. that's it. She also does all the, the technical stuff. She's got like the little computer. But the cats have computers too. So True. is she really that special? Are we drawing first blood? I mean, B's still not bad. Okay, and this next one, I'm just gonna be quiet and wait for a minute. I'll let y'all go oh. and then I'll bring up <laughs> Mars. A tier. Cause first of all, she's psychic. That's super cool. She has these really awesome pet crows. 
that's like super cool. I would love for her to tell my fortune. I agree with A. The reason I don't think she's an S is because I don't want her to be mean to me. And I feel like she would. <laughs> I feel like she's tough love. Yeah, and I can't handle it. <laughs> she provided an awakening in so many young boys. Oh. That we oh, want a strong woman to tell us what to do. However, um, we're coming uh, up S. on S. S. S tier. I, yeah. I was mentioning this to Cole. I feel like anyone with the name Makoto, which is what her name is in the version I'm watching, is just best girl. For me, growing up, definitely relatable. She was always kind of, you know, an outcast just for being like tall. Oh. But even then, it wasn't even that tall. Like, she's Japan tall. I think she's supposed to be like 5'6", but we saw he's 4'11". Whenever you're first introduced to her, she's helping out Usagi. She's also a good cook and a plant mom, and yeah. she's really strong. The only thing I don't like is her little transformation catchphrase. Hers is, I'll make you feel so much regret, it'll leave you numb. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> oh. We're going to start talking about Sailor V next, so prepare yourself. It was the beginning of the season, so Sailor Moon was like reintroducing all the characters, and she's like, oh, here's Ami. She's like really smart and really nice. And then she's like, and here's uh, Minako. She used to fight crime before us. And it's like, <laughs> She, she stopped. didn't have like any other like positive or nice friendly things to say about oh, me because she's like, oh yeah, she was there. I have not read Codename Sailor V. I don't have all the backstory on Sailor Venus, but as far as the context of the Sailor Moon series goes, she's just kind of there. Whenever I was younger, I thought her and Sailor Moon were the same person because they were both blonde. I mean, isn't she supposed to be kind of a more put together Usagi? Being perfect does not make a great personality. S-tier. S-tier. But I say does not make S-tier, does not make uh, S-tier. Okay. <laughs> I don't think she's worse than Mercury. Got it. So that, That's that all. Works That's my contribution. Neptune's next. She's beautiful. She's graceful. She's a famous violinist. She's hella rich. She's um, just... Yeah, I would, I would love some hair tips from her. <laughs> and also, power of the ocean. So her powers are... Uh, generating and manipulating seawater but at first i thought it was just manipulating and i was like can you imagine her she's at a pond but she can't actually do anything because it's not seawater but then Somebody i was like dump oh. some salt in here come yeah, on yeah. <laughs> yeah she's a little salty she's like the salty version of mercury and mercury, oh. she's mercury with spice yeah i like um, that term. so she i feel like that definitely makes her a level above so a tier uranus I think she's cool. She's Isn't cool. she a race car driver? Yes. Yeah, she's a, I think she's a better boyfriend than Tuxedo Matt. She's a better, she's a better no. partner. No! Okay, so something that's always bothered me it was how flirty she was with Usagi in the beginning, but also their refusal to like team up with the inner senshi in the beginning. I don't think that makes her better than it, Tuxedo you're, Matt. You're right, you're right. But she is cool. She's also hella rich. Very stylish. On the salty oh, side. I love her style. Um, <laughs> I agree with that. I you love got her. Great style. Also, she yeah. has a sword. Venus has a sword. But I think the space sword is cooler. Saturn. Sailor S. Saturn. S. 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 Our precious Jeez. goth daughter. So her powers are silence and ruin, nothingness and destruction, death and rebirth. How metal is that? That's so cool. I, I probably met her at a concert growing up. I guess you just have to be careful. Like, I guess if you're hanging out with her in your group and if she gets emotional, just gotta that's, make sure she doesn't like She her. might destroy the world. <laughs> well, that's why- Stop and kill everybody. That's why uh, she won't get any votes for Golden Honey for me. And then she has a dark form, right? It was very confusing, but at one point her human body was possessed by Mistress Nine, but her soul, her soul was still alive in her body. But then she also had like Sailor Saturn within her as well. So at one point, like her one form was taken over by three different <laughs> beings at the same time. And she was also a cyborg. What a thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> she put up with all that. She was possessed. She saved everybody's souls. And then in the, in the end, sacrificed herself to save the planet. And then was reborn, of course. All right, Pluto. Pluto, Pluto, Pluto. Oh, poor Pluto. Pluto's definitely B. I am 
questioning. Get lower. The coolest thing about her abilities causes her to die. They're like, hey, oh. you can't yeah. use the best thing about you without dying afterwards. And it's just kind of sad. Hey, you know what? Pluto's not even a planet. You know, she's not C. She's she's B at least. She's B. Okay. Yeah. What was I thinking? Chibiusa. Hey. I would say A, and I was gonna say she showed up with a gun. Oh. I can't get over it. I what thought she you, legit shot Usagi. <laughs> I was like slacking Cole, and I was like, oh my god. This baby has a gun. I used to be a hater. I used to think like, oh, Chibi is so annoying. Blah blah blah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's so hardcore. I respect. <laughs> Grown on me the past it, like few episodes we've seen her. If it wasn't for her, Hotaru would have destroyed everything. So cats, 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 yeah. cats. Always say S to cats. Are Luna and Artemis same tier? I like because you were of them. saying that you like Artemis better because Artemis I, isn't as mean. It's not as everyone's so saucy in this show. Like Constantly. I'm like Luna, just believe in Sailor Moon. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, there's I like something them. pretty cool about. Cats these computers. I don't have yeah, opinions I, about Diana. I don't have opinions because yeah. I haven't actually seen her yet. I mean, you can't make a cat D tier. She's just kind of there for exposition, being like, "Hey, here's Chibiusa's backstory." A for Artemis, maybe. A, yeah, a I, I agree with that. Okay, I feel like we've made it through the hardest part. These chuckleheads. We got Queen Barrel. Barrel. I can't decide whether she would be a good or bad I, friend. I just have. like how like she's like cheesy evil. What's kind of problematic is that Princess Serenity and Endymion were together. They're destined to be in love. Queen Beryl was just like, mm, no, I kind of love Endymion too. So let me just like destroy your whole kingdom <laughs> and also accidentally kill him. If you have a significant other, I would be very wary of Queen Beryl. She might come and try and steal your man and brainwash him. I don't have a significant other. <laughs> I, don't got, I, guess, I don't got much to worry about. I, I guess my thing is, is like the most of the time where you're like introduced to her and everything, she always has people doing things for her. If she's your ally, do you get that? You get all the minions. Yeah. <laughs> the other yeah. thing I will say that brings up a point is I feel like she's very patient. Sure. These chuckleheads are failing left and right, and she's like, you get another chance, you get another chance. Oprah over here handing out chances. B? Yeah, I would say B. B for Barrel? B, but like, you just you just gotta watch your back. We got Kunzite next. Kunzite. I... Most powerful of the four of Shintenu. The four knights. So I automatically give all these knights just a basic demotion of just being completely brainwashed. Honestly, Sailor Moon is so just littered with brainwashing and energy stealing. It's so annoying. <laughs> it's like, how can that all is... these people be so weak to get brainwashed all the time? <laughs> but they're beautiful. These four knights, I kind of want in my squad more as like, Eye Potter. candy, I think. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I am indifferent about all of them except for I forgot which one, but the one with the brown hair because of the romance thing with Naru. And then when he like died, I actually felt something. I would say you want more. That's B. right. That's why. I mean, I just like him more than everyone else. I don't really trust them to not get brainwashed. At yeah. any moment's notice, they could get brainwashed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> all right, Black Lady. As far as fashion sense, S tier. Black Lady is super cool and powerful and angry and just knows how to put on a dress. Love it, would love some tips. <laughs> um, not great, wants to brainwash her father and make out with him. Um, oh, so I'm trying to okay. figure out where to average that. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, her powers are cool. And I, I was watching a clip, does she have like, a drill? Yeah, I was watching a fight and it was like a drill and then it turned yeah. into an umbrella. Okay, so we're good with B. We're good with B, Black Lady. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Alright, then we got the Dark Moon Clan. So that's so Prince Demond. Demond, who is a minion of the evil guy Wiseman. Who like who gives a fuck about that guy? He's a D. Like, I don't care. I don't even really know what his powers are. I know at one point he kidnaps Usagi and then he kisses his her, power. Without her without her consent. Oh, his dark moon symbol can become a third eye, which can stun and control his victims. He is also able to fire powerful energy blasts from his hand. So what? 
He's just kind of a lame dude. Yeah, I see that. Okay, and then we have the Spectre Sisters. Koan's cool. She has a really cool outfit, um, but she's not as cool as Rey. So I feel like that would make her a B tier. She has dark fire powers as opposed to just fire powers. Mm, dark fire is cool. Birdie, she's Mercury. Okay. She, I like her outfit. I think I almost might like her more than Mercury just because she does it. She does have a really cool outfit. Yeah. She has to be smart. She's equally as good at chess as Mercury. Kind of has the same powers. Hitsu. Oh. I don't think she's A. No way. Yeah. Honestly, she's not as cute as the other ones. I would put her in C tier. Ooh. Not like, cute. if I'm going to have girls in my squad, they should also have a good fashion <laughs> sense. And then uh, Calaveras. She didn't do much, right? No. No. Doesn't really seem to give a fuck when her sisters die. Like a lot of these villains, I was like about to they say, all, I was like, no one cares. Sailor Moon uses her powers and then they get evaporated and no one seems to give a fuck. We got these two. We got the two normies. Umino's a fucking narc. If there was an F tier, Umino would be in the F tier. Yeah. He's a creep. I agree. Yeah, uh, he's a creep. There's that episode where he like does bad things. His tier is just Umino tier. Like there yeah. is. <laughs> Yeah. There's no other way to classify him. So, I don't even know why he's in the story. Naru is Naru is like the best support. Yeah. But she doesn't she can't do anything. Yeah. That's so why it's sad. I like Naru a lot. I think she's very sweet. And I might be biased because she has red hair and all I wanted was a redheaded Sailor Scout, but she will have to do. <laughs> See? I think with just having like a normie friend, isn't it good to have like a little bit of like balance in your life? Alright. Now it's all come down to this. We fought tooth and nail. We've argued, made a lot of enemies along the way, but we must announce one golden honey. I think the best way to do this is on the count of three from from the S tier. Say who you think it is. I'm so three, nervous. two, yeah. one, Makoto. Oh no. Read. Even though well, that's fine. She's a close second. I did come in repping my rose earrings. Um, I think. And, and your grassy, grassy. And yeah. my, yeah, and my, and my grass dress. Tuxedo mask just gets brainwashed too oh, many times. Too long. Only once. Once yeah, is too but many. but it lasted a while. <laughs> he also accidentally made out with his daughter. Oh God. <laughs> I would love to have a supportive BF like tuxedo mask one day. But Sailor Jupiter would be Fair. the best friend. No downside here. No downside. All only only boons. Only boons. <laughs> All right, Reed, Melanie, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. We'll we'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye. Hey there, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, while you're here, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what other kind of tier list you would want to see, what other shows, games, anything anime related at all. Uh, if you want to see more great content like that, head on over to roosterteeth.com. You can become a first member. We have a ton more to see.